Hi, I'm Elizabeth Lovegrove and this is a short introduction to using Google Presentation. So, as you'll see, we're starting in Moodle and we'll just follow the link here from Moodle into the Google Presentation. It takes a moment to load, but um, when it's finished loading, it will come up with the existing presentation, the existing slides in there. So you can see that the last edit was made six minutes ago and after a moment you can see there's two other people in the room at the moment already. There's Anonymous Duck and Anonymous Week One. Um, because I'm al already logged into my Brooks Google account, you'll see that it's got my account name up here, that's my Brooks staff number. Um, if you're already logged into Google, when you click on the link it should click should pick up your existing account. If you're not, you'll come up with some kind of come up with some kind of anonymous animal like the duck and the iguana already displayed. So we've got here the main um, entry slide for this presentation, and if you go over to the second slide that you can see up here, we can see that the anonymous duck is editing it. If you click on it, you can see that um, the anonymous duck is in the process of typing something in here. Um, I've got the word desk highlighted and is obviously halfway through a sentence. Um, so Anonymous Duck is um, actually me in another window and is in the process of creating this as a sample icebreaker, the what's on your desk activity. Um, and here I've included a link and left a bit of space for other people to include um, things there as well. But to create a new activity now you just need to um, create a new slide which you do by pressing the plus button up here which you'll see says new slide. So press that and then you get the option to click to add a title um, and as you might expect you can change the font size of that if it turns out you need bigger or smaller um, text goes here, you can also do things like insert an image um, or draw some shapes um, what kind of shapes do we have here, let's have a smiley face so there's a smiley face um, and I guess from that little yellow bit there that we can change something about the ah yes we can change the face to be a frowny face if we prefer as well um, so there's all kinds of graphics and tools built in here of the sort you might expect that are mostly familiar from using things like Word and PowerPoint anyway um, the advantage of using Google Presentation as with the other Google Docs is that you can see who else is online so we've got the iguana and the duck you can also see the revision history so if you go to the file menu and choose revision history, you can see that I created this document th today, um, shortly before two o'clock, and that's me, Elizabeth Lovegrove, I created it. Uh, at ten past four, some anonymous person created it some other amendments. Um, in this case, it will be this, this slide here was created by this anonymous person, which again is actually me, but um, logs in anonymously. And you can restore that version or you can just go back to the to the current version. So you can see different things that have gone on there within this within this document. Um, now it auto saves as you're going along. So you can see at the top there all changes saved. Uh, so if you make a mistake, you can just use the revision history to get back to where you want it to be. I'll just close that to get it out of the way. And the other th useful thing that you will find yourself wanting to do in Google Presentation is to leave comments. So. I want to leave a comment on this what's my desk activity here. Um, just use the comment button which is this one which looks like a speech bubble over here. Click on it and it will bring up a speech bubble that you can type into. And that's a quick introduction to using Google Presentations.